Bible says it's 66 picks mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Once there was a man who was a prophet, a special messenger who heard from God. His name was Jeremiah. One day, God told Jeremiah to get up and go to the house of the potter. God said he had something very important to tell Jeremiah there. So Jeremiah went to the potter's house and sure enough, the potter was there, working away at his wheel. Whenever the pot turned out badly, as sometimes happened when you're working with clay, the potter would simply start over and use the same clay to make another pot. Then God spoke again and said, can't I just do as this potter does? Watch this potter. In the same way that this potter works on his clay, that's how I work on you, my people. God made the whole universe. We're just people. How can we argue with God? He's the one who made us and formed us. He's still forming us. He knows how things should be. Should the clay say to the potter, why are you making me like this? When the potter's hands try to press the clay to make it what he wants it to be, should the clay say, no way? Should the clay get hard so the potter's hands can't even shape it? If it did, it would just stay a useless lump of clay. But when the clay obeys the potter, when the clay moves when the potter wants it to, when all the clay lets the potter decide how all things should be, then the clay becomes something so much greater, something beautiful, something it could never have become without the potter. That's how it is with God. He might ask us to do things that seem really hard. He might lead us through times when we wish things were really different. He might ask us to obey him when we would really rather do things our own way. But we know for sure that if God tells us something, we should do it even if we don't understand. After all, we're just the clay. We're not meant to understand everything. It's okay, because he's the potter, and he does. He knows everything. He knows us. He knows the good purpose and plan he has for us. And as our creator, he has the right to make us and shape us in every single way he wants to. When we obey God, when we let him shape us and mold us into what he wants us to be, we become his art his handiwork. People look at us and see how good God is. God, you are our father. We are the clay. You are the potter. We are all the work of your hand. Help us to go where you want us to go and do what you want us to do. Teach us to obey and trust you always so you can shape us into what you want us to become. Amen.